Hi, good afternoon to everyone. I'm Dr. Sudhir Dalti. I'm a senior consultant cardiothoracic surgeon at Apollo Hospitals, Ahmedabad and Navi Mumbai. So I'm here to talk about minimally invasive cardiac surgery today. So this is a new technique which has been developed over the past decade or so. And I have been practicing it since last six years. Uh, this is as the name itself speaks, this is a minimal incision. So normal traditional cardiac surgery happens by opening the breast bone as you see the bone in front of your chest. So we split it open into two halves and the incision lasts from here to here. But in this case, we don't do that. So we approach the heart, the surgery remains the same. Surgery does not change. But we approach the surgery or the heart through the left side or the right side without splitting the bone. So our incision is small, 5 cm incision. And uh, we approach the heart through the intercostal spaces, the space in between the two ribs without cutting any bone. So as a result, what happens is it translates into faster recovery for the patient, less pain and almost zero infection. Although the surgery remains the same, there is no innovation in the surgery, but the technique and the approach to the, so this heart changes and it becomes, the surgery becomes safer and more quicker for the patient. So what happens is the length of stay uh, of the patient in the hospital changes. So normally they stay for five to seven days, but in this case they stay for three to four days. Since the incision size is small, blood loss is less, so almost 60% of my patients don't receive any blood, even though undergo cardiac surgery. Since the bone is not cut, so the infection or the chances of infection to the patient are reduced drastically. Since the surgery size is very small, stay is less, so the recovery is also fast. Within seven days after surgery, the patient is allowed to do his or join his office, do his own routine activities. So there are a lot of benefits for the patients. And the chances of hypertrophic scar, since the scar is on the left or the right side of the chest, not in the middle, which is prone for hypertrophic scar. So the chances of building a hypertrophic scar and laying a long-term problem for the patient is also less. So overall a very win-win situation and I will say a lot of benefits involved with this procedure and which patients we can opt for? Yes, all valves, uh, whosoever has to undergo a valve procedure, replacement or repair can be done. Whosoever has a hole in the heart can be done. Whosoever has a blockages in his arteries, those patients we have to be uh, really selective. We can't offer all such patients this procedure, but yes, most of such patients, around 80% patients, can uh, opt for minimally invasive cardiac surgery. Patients whose heart is very weak, less than 30%, whose heart is really dilated, or who have a lot of peripheral vascular disease in their limbs and have morbid obesity are relative contraindications. By contraindications, uh, I mean those patients who do not offer minimally invasive cardiac surgery, rest all we can offer minimally invasive cardiac surgery. Although at the moment this procedure is a bit costlier than the general cardiac surgery, but it offers so much benefit that in the long term the patient saves more money and enjoys his life better and reaches his quality of life in a very fast manner. Rather a week, I would say, won't be a, a bad choice of all. In a week, week's time, he can join his or resume his duties and whatever he wants to do. Thank you.